Hi, this is Sarah Levis at Girl with a Cane, and this is the video post for Annie Clark Wins Penmanship Award by Writing with Her Forearms. I hope you enjoy it. Annie Clark of Pittsburgh, seven years old, says that she was not really scared, but kind of, when she accepted the Nicholas Maxim Award. She is one of two students to win the prize, awarded for the first time this year by educational publisher Zeno Blozer, Incorporated, to students with disabilities for exemplary penmanship. Clark was born without hands. She writes with her pencil between her forearms. Her adoptive parents, Mary Ellen and Tom Clark, couldn't be prouder of her and hope that this experience reinforces to her that she can do anything. Annie Clark already does a great deal. Mary Ellen may worry that Annie sometimes wishes for hands, but we must remember that Annie is only seven years old and surrounded by abled peers. She may not recognize how remarkable it is that she gets along so well with no hands. Annie uses her forearms to feed and dress herself and even paint her toenails. In addition to writing, she paints, draws, and colors. She plays the board game Battleship and swims. She dresses herself and opens cans of soda pop. She uses her iPod touch and computers without assistance, says triplive.com. Annie's school didn't know that the Zaner Blozer competition had a division for students with disabilities. Annie won the penmanship award for her entire school. It was only when her name was forwarded to the state level that the contest officials suggested that she be put in the Division for Children with Disabilities. I'm curious to know whether Annie was offered the opportunity to compete with the other students who won first prize at their schools. If so, which option was she encouraged to take, and by whom? If not, why does the presence of a disability automatically mean that she was labeled and put into a certain class of competition, regardless of her ability level? Not that having a disability, or Annie Clark competing in that division, is a bad thing, or that it should take away from her victory in any way. Perhaps her parents thought that being in the disability d division was a better option for her. Perhaps Annie Clark wanted to be in the disability division. But if Zayner Blozer compelled Annie Clark or her family to put her in the disability division, shame on them. They should have known that she deserved to, to compete with the other students who had come first at their schools, regardless of her disability. And I've linked to the USA Today article about Annie Clark and the Trib Live news article about her. And you should really check it out and uh, see the picture of her using her pen with her forearms because it really is cool. And that's it for today. Thanks very much.